This will be a short tutorial video on how to compute some limits with trigonometric functions. So uh, here is the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine, cosine cubed x over sine squared x. And for this one, you have to factor the numerator and you have to use a trigonometric identity for the denominator, specifically the Pythagorean trigonometric identity. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0. And this is the difference of cubes. So it's going to be 1 minus cosine x times 1 plus cosine x plus cosine squared x. And this is all over sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. And now the denominator is the difference of squares, and that's factorable. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine x times 1 plus cosine x plus cosine squared x over 1 minus cosine x times 1 plus cosine x. OK, so you see that the 1 minus cosine x is canceled. And then you're left with the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 plus cosine x plus cosine squared x all over 1 plus cosine x. And at this point, you can actually substitute the 0 in because the cosine of 0 is 1. So go ahead and substitute that 0 in. You have 1 plus cosine 0 is 1 plus the cosine of 0 is 1 squared is 1 all over 1 plus 1 this is 3 over 2. So the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine cubed x over sine squared x is 3 over 2. You should confirm that graphically. So let me do another one. where you have to use a different trigonometric identity. So how about the limit as x goes to 0 of the cotangent of 2x over the cosecant of x. <clears throat> so the cotangent is the cosine over the sine, and the cosecant is 1 over the sine. So we'll first employ those two identities. So this is going to be the limit as x goes to 0 of the cosine of 2x over the sine of 2x over 1 over the sine of x. This is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of cosine 2x over sine 2x times uh, sine x. Now here's where we have to use another trig identity here for the denominator. Sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of the cosine of 2x over 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x times the sine of x. Now the sine of x is cancel on the top and on the bottom. And so we're left with the limit as x goes to 0 of the cosine of 2x over 2 cosine x. And now it looks like we can actually substitute that 0 in. 2 times 0 is 0, and the cosine of 0 is 1. So this will be the cosine of 0 over 2 times the cosine of 0. Now cosine 0 is 1, so this is 1 over 2. So the limit as x goes to 0 of the cotangent of 2x over the cosecant of x is 
1 over 2. So I hope this helps you when you're computing trigonometric limits. Uh, don't forget to use your trig identities.